You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence.com. I'm Mike, and today we're taking a look at a Monteverde pen. Now, I have not reviewed a Monteverde pen in quite a while. Probably the last one I did was, I don't know, the Artista Crystal a million years ago? I, I haven't done it in a while. Uh, this is the uh, the Ritma, R-I-T-M-A. I don't know what that word stands for. I wasn't able to find something easily, so I, I just don't know. It comes in a nice uh, plastic clamshell. This is different from their usual materials, which is kind of interesting. Uh, push in this bottom bit, top pops open. You've got the Monteverde logo and stuff in there. Some like velveteen action. It's gotten a little bit scratched up from the uh, the edge of the clip there, just like rubbing against it, I suppose. Underneath the pen and pillow, you have uh, blue and black ink cartridges. Probably good. I like Monteverde ink, although I haven't tried those ink cartridges. You have the um, uh, this card, which is talking about warranty stuff. You've got a, hey, how do I put ink in my pen sort of card. And uh, that's what you've got. Now, there is one other card, and we're going to look at that in just a sec. Let's get this out of here and take a look at the pen. So the pen, as you can see, is pretty minimal. There's only one bit of branding on here, and it's on the back of the cap there, where it says Monteverde USA Ritma. That's it. There's no other branding. The finials are clean. Uh, this one is, uh, is concave. This one is just flat. Does it stand up? Totes. All right. Uh, you have a, a nice satin finish here. It comes in several colors in this barrel. I think there's red, blue, white, black, uh, maybe others. And they'll probably introduce others if I know how Monteverde does things. They like to you know, start out with some colors and make more colors, which I'm into. This uh, gunmetal and red looks very attractive, I think. It's a good look. The clip reminds me a little bit of like a Lamy clip, which uh, is okay. I mean, it's a little bit... <laughs> If I have a complaint about this pen, it's that I don't really love the clip. I think the it, it functions perfectly. There's no problem with the function of this clip. It's got enough of a kick out so it can grab onto like shirts and jeans and stuff like that. Uh, it's got a very secure cap. Uh, we'll talk about the cap here in a sec. Uh, but I just don't, I don't know. I don't like the look of the clip, I guess. But that's a pretty small, pretty small complaint. All right, let's get into this pen. Oh, uh, what's that? It's a magnet cap. Well, here's the thing. This is the other card that comes with it. And when I read this, I read this in the unboxing. So if you saw that, you've seen this already. But it says Ritma, magnetic cap. And it's got this little illustration of a magnetic, I guess that's what magnets look like. And then uh, it says Ritma, magnetic cap, new technological innovation for Monteverde USA is the airtight magnetic cap. And I was stopping like, I don't know, man. Like, y'all know what's wrong with, with magnetic caps. They always let air in. They're not very secure. I don't know about this. Like, I was a little dubious about this pen for that reason. All right. Airtight magnetic cap. Cool. Whatever. It is precision engineered to perfectly fit over the front section to avoid air passage and ink drying. I mean, okay. I hope that's true. No need to twist off. Gently pull the cap and listen for the slight popping sound. I was like, popping sound? What is this? Well, let's listen to a popping sound. <laughs> y'all hear that? It's awesome. There is definitely a popping sound when you pull this cap off. Uh, it does not come off easily. Like I have no problem hanging this from a shirt pocket or whatever, or even the placket in the front of my shirt, because uh, this cap is is very secure. It pops when you bring it off, and that's actually really good. And I was curious about how long it would keep my ink flowing, so I just like threw it in a drawer for a few weeks. <laughs> that's I just used other pens. I've got other pens, man. And let me tell you, this is still the first fill of this, uh, first fill, maybe second fill of this ink. But uh, yeah, first fill. Uh, I have not had any problems with this nib drying out. And that is pretty impressive. It's not a particularly wet nib. Uh, the ink isn't anything super special. It's a Monteverde ink. I like it, but it's not like crazy fancy or anything. It's just this cap is actually very good. So you have a little bit of a cap liner in there. You can see it looks, it actually looks metal to me. I don't think there are any plastic parts in this pen. And you can kind of see, I think, like the rim in there. That's got to be that big old magnet that's holding this thing on there. Uh, when you, oh, also you can post it. And nice has a nice, uh, <laughs> how fun is that, right? Uh, it's got a nice magnetic posting. The post isn't incredibly secure. I mean, it's not going to fall off, but you can pull it off pretty easily. It doesn't, uh, doesn't snap on as hard as it does up the section. I think that makes it a little bit heavy. This cap is a heavy cap. Uh, and so it seems to overbalance it a little bit for me. 
So I just never post this pen, I just set it aside. But it's got a clip, so that's totally fine. All right, section on this pen is kind of a, of a thick section. It's 12.2 millimeters. I usually like my sections to be around 10 or 11. 11 is pretty good. 12 is getting up there. It's a, it's a pretty fat section right there. But I haven't had any problems gripping onto this pen. It doesn't, uh, it does have a, a, as you can see, a shiny metal section, but uh, because of the maybe the girth or something, or maybe it's something about the, the rhodium, rhodium? No, the... Um, ruthenium gunmetal-y trim they've got here. I'm not actually sure if it's ruthenium, whatever. It's what it looks like. Uh, it's got a little bit of a it's got a little bit of a grip to it, it feels like. Now, if I had a second complaint about this, first one was like, I don't really love the clip. The other one is that there's this tiny step that goes to the rest of the barrel, and it's like you can feel it. It's not sharp. It doesn't like cut me or anything. It's not uncomfortable, but it's definitely there. And I'm like, mm, I wish I didn't feel that. Uh, but you know, you're gonna. If you put your fingers here, you're gonna feel that se that step. On the other hand, if you put your fingers like on that step, like I'm doing right here, which is a pretty comfortable way to hold this pen, um, that actually gives you a little bit more traction, right? Keep your fingers from slipping even more. The nib is a number six size nib. It's I think a Yovo nib. Uh, I am pretty sure that Monteverde and um, Conklin have moved over to Yovo nibs, although I, I can't swear to it. Uh, this is a medium nib, and it is a perfectly good medium. It's maybe on the, a little bit on the fine side of medium, uh, but these do come in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and stub, which is a 1.1 usually. Uh, I don't have that one, but those have always been uh, very good from this company. So, uh, yeah, it's all, and they're all black. They, are, they only do gunmetal, and they only do black nibs. But the uh, difference between the gunmetal and the black there is not, is not a big deal. All right, opening it up, you have some metal threads. You have metal threading on the inside. No plastic on metal uh, action here to wear out. It's a very, as I said, no plastic bits except for the converter that I don't remember if it came with this. Maybe I just threw it in there. I kind of think it came with it, but check your check with your uh, your Monteverde dealer to uh, to make sure. We bought this one at I want to say Pen Chalet a while ago, so uh, we we paid for this one. But uh, I think it came. I think. I think it came with that converter. I'm pretty sure it did. Anyway, plenty of room in there. Uh, let me see if the uh, converter rattles when I poke it. Nope. Converter doesn't rattle. Do I get ink everywhere? Nope. Good still. <laughs> the converter doesn't rattle in there or anything like that. Uh, so this is actually uh, this is very nice. Um, as for stats and things of that nature, you have uh, all kinds of stuff here. Steel and aluminum body with a matte anodiz anodization. We talked about the number six nib, cartridge and converter filling. Now measurements. This is a fairly heavy cap or fairly heavy... Um, uh, 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 Pen, did I put? Yeah, there we go. 1.8 ounces and 1.2 ounces. This is 0.6 ounces, this cap, which is like, that's fairly heavy for a cap. Um, several grams, right? Um, <laughs> several grams. And uh, I think that's like, put this cap aside, this pen is actually a very nice weight, I think. Uh, the cap length, uh, about five and a half inches, a little under, about five inches uncapped is what you'll usually be using. Uh, posted length is uh, 6.3 inches. Now, I didn't do a pocket a pocket depth because the uh, the cap on or the uh, the clip on here comes right up to the top. So the pocket depth is essentially 5.36 inches. Like that's just it's the same thing. And as for price, uh, 45 bucks is the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Now you can find this a little bit cheaper. It is usually 36 bucks uh, at pretty much every store I'm looking at here on the Googles. Uh, however, Pin Chalet, where we got it, has it at 29, uh, 29, 25, which I think is a it's a great price for this thing, and if you're going to save six bucks, hey, save six bucks, man. Uh, you'll probably have to pay shipping or something, but like, pay, save six bucks. All right, there you go. Cool. Let's do a little writing sample of this guy, and then look at it compared to a whole bunch of other pens. How about, how about that? This is the Monteverde. Oh, I've been waving it around too, too much. There we go. Oh, Now, I was saying this pen hasn't dried out. Apparently, it will if you wave it around without writing with it with a cap off for like half an hour like I've been doing. Uh, this, isn't the, this, isn't, this isn't the first take. Uh, this is a medium nib. Wait, is it a medium? This is a medium nib. And it actually feels like it's a little bit on the fine side of medium. Sometimes you get a medium nib and it feels like a broad. Sometimes you get a medium nib that feels like a medium. This one feels a little bit on the fine side for me, but that's fine. I think it's pretty good. It's neither wet nor dry. Very medium. And uh, what do I have in here? I have a brown. Uh, this is probably, uh, this is Monteverde Scotch Brown.
And I quite like the way this pen writes. It's got a nice feel on the paper. It's not super, super wet or anything like that. It's not dry. I just lifted the pen up off the paper. I was looking at the screen and not the paper. Uh, so don't blame that on the pen. I haven't had any problems with this guy writing. It came smooth out of the box. I uh, didn't have any problem with it, like, not writing right away. I didn't clean it out before I put ink in it because I'm impatient, uh, and I didn't do that. Uh, and also, I think I need to say I haven't had any problem with this cap, like, pulling a vacuum on the nib and uh, splattering ink everywhere. It's uh, it's never happened to me. I know some other pens uh, will do that, but I've, I've never had that happen with this one, and I've had this for a little while, so so no problem there. All right, let's look at it next to a whole bunch of other pens so you get an idea of scale and size. Okay, here we have some stuff, everything from real small pens up to a big old pen. So this is the uh, Pilot Prera, which is almost a pocket pen. Like, this thing is lull to me. You have the Sailor Pro Gear, the Sailor 1911. These are the uh, the regular Pro Gear and the standard 1911. This is the Franklin Christoph Model 46. This is a Twisby Go, uh, which is pretty darn close to the uh, the Ritma in size. It's definitely fatter, but same kind of thing. So this is the Ritma here, of course. This is a Lamy All-Star. This is the Twisby Eco, the Twisby 580 ALR. And then this big old boy over here is the Opus 88 Omar, which is... That's 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 a big pen. We'll review that review that one soon. I've been enjoying it. This is where the Ritma fits, and it's right in the middle, and it's a it's a very normal size pen. Pretty good. Let's take the caps off and uh, see how these look. Okay, so there you have it. All these pens, you take the caps off, and they all stay pretty much in the same order, right? Uh, with this guy still being huge, this guy still being very medium. So there you go. Uh, I think these are a good sampling of pens uh, and uh, you know things you might be aware, might be uh, familiar with. And this is a very medium sized pen. So this has been the Monteverde Ritma. I'd say pick it up wherever you get uh, you get your Monteverde pens or any of those other Yaffa sort of products. Um, Monteverde's Conklin's Diplomats etc and uh, tell them you saw it here let them know that uh, that I sent you it won't get you anything but uh, you know it lets people know that you saw a thing online you liked what I was doing and that might help me out in some way uh, I don't know let them know where their, their customers are coming from this is a pen that I was kind of dubious of and I really I got it because I'm like it's not that expensive and it looks cool I'll give it a shot and I like this pen quite a lot it's one that I keep reaching for and uh, I think for 30 bucks this is a very nice pen I mean it's the same general price as like the Twisby Eco. Uh, it's just got a cartridge and converter and a magnet cap and a few other features, but same kind of price range. And I think for uh, 30 or 40 bucks, this is a really, it's a really fun pen. That magnet with that pop. It doesn't really get old. <laughs> I really like it. Uh, so there you go. Of course, now if you're a person who fidgets and you're constantly popping that cap, It'd be just as bad as if you had a clicky pen. So, you know, choose whether you're going to ignore your, your family, right? Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see y'all in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out.